The boxing spectacle, the only thing going in the boxing world right now, repeated itself <laughs> this weekend. And I'd like to admit pride. Pride is about to show. I did not pay for it this Ooh. time. Mm -hmm. Round it's of called applause. growth. Yes, that's maturity, and it's happening right before your eyes. Uh, yeah, is Jake Paul, that likable creature, uh, fighting Tyrone Woodley again, as Tommy Fury did drop out a few weeks ago. Um, and it was... Look, there's a lot going on out there because there's hand movements and it's fake. The knockout almost seemed too Hollywood-esque, dare I say. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist by any stretch. But am I the only one that no matter what happens in the Jake Paul, Logan Paul world, I don't believe one second of any of it, right? No, you're alone on that. It's all bullshit. No, like, I'm it's with you all. On that. I just, I don't get it. Anyways, it's not even about the box boxing. And shout out to Darren Williams, who had a win over Frank Gore. I feel like that was the better, <laughs> better story anyways. But what we really want to touch on is the poop stain that has come in two forms of humans, known as the <laughs> Island Boys. Um, we're, we're here already? We're just no, we saying have to be here. everything Jake Paul does is fake, including that knockout, but we're going right What do you want right me to talk about? It? He screams into a microphone that he's going to F him up. I'm going to F him up. And by the way, shout out Ariel Helwani for just even being any kinds of professional. He then shouts it again afterwards. I don't believe... Look, I believe Jake Paul fancies himself a boxer. And I do believe he has the passion for it. You know, he likes to train. They've taken it all in. They've got a, an actual, like, fighting ring in their house. Like, I, I'm not doubting any of that. But because of how they've come up, they've come up in this YouTube world. They are very savvy when it comes to how to use all these stupid contraptions and media and phones and social. Like, and for that reason alone, 46-year-old me... And probably a little jealous because of the tens of millions they've managed to accumulate, accumulate with like zero talent. I don't believe anything. I feel like everything is a show. Everything is just some sort of weird PR move. So even if he did knock him out, let's say he did technically knock him out. Mm, nothing. I get nothing. I just feel like it's fake. I feel like Woodley is in a hash grab situation because let's be honest, where else is he going to get this money at this point? And I feel like these kids just want to build up that 5-0, and 6-0, and 7-0. And, and then I don't know what the end game is. Are they going to fight? I, I have no idea because I don't know boxing where it is right now. Who are they going to fight? Tyson Fury? No. So I don't know where we're headed. I just don't think it's real. Yeah, I'm I mean, it's, I, I'm with you uh, up to the part about like Woodley got knocked out. And Woodley is a prideful guy who did not want that to happen. Is he? How, how much pride, how much does your pride cost? Well, I mean, obviously his cost is a little lower than we would have expected, <laughs> uh, but, but I don't think he thought that was going to happen or he would have done, he wouldn't have done this. Like he, look, he's not a boxer. That's not right, how right. he won. He's a wrestler. It's right. not how he ever won in the UFC and he was a champ, but like, I don't think he was expecting to get just hook to the chin Knock out the cold. F out. No. Yeah, no. And, and like, maybe he has a, the wrong view of himself, but like, he's not trying to get <laughs> Nate Robinson. Like, that's nobody's goal. I don't, so but on that level, know? I can't see that it's, well, I, I guess how I How do we know, know there wasn't some secret clause money-wise that was like, yo, just do this. Just go down. And by the way, stunt people do that all the time. Actors do that all the time where they actually look like they got knocked out. How do we know it wasn't that? I mean, I, I can't try to prove to you that it wasn't that. But if that was fake, that was very good acting, though, because he Wait. really hit the mat. I mean, that's have y'all seen a little meaningful. franchise called Rocky? Okay, none of those people actually got knocked out, but what? we all thought they did. Yeah, I know it's shocking. I'm just saying, this is so. It's too perfect. The screaming and the yelling of "I'm gonna f him up," then knocking him out, and then do it. Just it's too. And because he knows that the world is like, Jake Paul's not real. There's clause, There's always a clause in the contract. Like, he's supposed to win every time. It's like wrestling. Da -da. They all hear all that. And so knocking him out in that way, or at least looking like you did, was probably the only way that any of this would be, I guess, taken seriously. I mean, I, according to Twitter, people were impressed. So, you know, and Twitter is basically what we all think all the time. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's how I saw the knockout, because once again, I did not get suckered into paying for this one. Uh, here, here's my only last question before I, the Island boys do tie into this. Um, we, there are instantly like a hundred angles 
It like of the moment stuff? it happens, a hundred angles of every knockout in a ring these days. Sure. They just can't regulate it. So I've seen this thing from more angles than like any sporting event ever, and it's only gonna increase. So how you can't fake that. Like the whole trick to faking a punch is Oh my god, holy shit, cameras. you're right. I forgot Rocky was shot on one camera. You're right. <laughs> Um, that's on me. Why do you have to go back to Rocky? That, because it's the number one boxing movie franchise in the history of the world. I mean, we could do other ones. You want to do Creed? We could do whatever you want. I don't care. All the what, what's the Hillary Swank one? We can do them all. But either way, it's not one camera shot. There's multiple angles. It's called acting for a right, reason. But, but the you know, but the other angles reveal that there's no contact. In this case, from every damn angle you look, that's straight gloved jaw out over. Well, there's not why, a single one that looks like something it, else. Why do you want to validate this? Like, How why do you want to get be a part from of the problem? Boxing to filmmaking. Uh, well, because it, that's what we saw on Saturday, or at least I saw on Twitter after the fact. Whatever. You know what? Let's have Ariel on, and we'll ask him. Great, love it. I'll <laughs> yeah. happily sit out and turn this mic over to Ariel Wani. I think you'll have a smarter best. conversation. So, what does the Island Boys have to do with this? Because now people want them to fight. Am I lost in this? I don't know if we want them to fight more than just disappear forever. But they were there because. <laughs> it's the event of the year and they are the it boys but they were there ringside ish and alleged again i don't think anything's real with this world but some people wanted to fight them some dudes that were seen like coming down the stairs towards where they were sitting and in typical just biatch fashion these two children were like hold me back hold me back we're gonna fight hold me and we're like no one in their right mind believes that either one of you is going to go fight anybody. There will be no physical contact. I don't know what your purpose in the world is. I know that we've gotten to a point now where rightfully so, people want to fight them wherever they go. They get booed off stages because apparently a music career is what they're after ultimately. <laughs> like, uh, which obviously they deserve it with that kind of talent, with the world needs it. Raw it this is every year, every, every so often, we are subjected to a plague in human skin form that is just thrust upon humanity, that is garbage, that is, there's zero good to it. None of us are better off for having seen or heard anything that they've done so far. People are paying these idiots cameo money to just infest their house with that audio that makes me want to just run my head into a wall a thousand times. Get, I swear to God, I swear to God. I hate a lot of things, a lot of things, and I try not to hate a lot of people, but whoever their parents were that brought these two idiots into our lives, that's who I have a problem with here. Not the island boys, the two parents that made these idiots. I want them to be held responsible. The original. Yeah, the yes. OGs, the two that fell in love and made that. <laughs> it is, I nothing gotta, about I... them's real. They're not island boys, first of all. There were idiots that wear jeans in a pool. Stupid. Anyways, I'm done. Wait, no, nope, you're not. Unfortunately, <laughs> you're not done. Nope. No, no. You opened a lots of cans of worms there. First of all, they're brothers. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. Okay, so I got a solution for you. At least to half the problem. Double murder? That seems no, a little bit not, much. Gay. So it's not like you're saying like, oh, people want to fight them. No, oh. how about this? They fight each other. It's one on a uh, one island boy for the rest of time. There's one no survives. more two of you. One wins, <laughs> and then that guy fights some he Paul brother. He becomes island man. Yes. If yeah. he dies, he dies. <laughs> yeah. Wait, okay. Question: How much money, like pay per view, would you pay to watch the island boys and I, I again fight each other? Because look, we paid pay per view money for really stupid things over the years and that's fine they got us i don't want to yeah, give them I'm, any money i'm zero i'm zero <laughs> but but i i will watch it on you know when somebody Twitter. steals a camera angle. yeah exactly that's Tweet true out. i don't want them to make a penny from this because the problem with these types of like i don't know grifters parasites yeah grifters just these these things that we get is that the more we pay attention that's what they want and even if it's all negative which it is it's still keeping them in the zeitgeist of what oh and like the fact that i'm talking about them makes me angry at myself because i don't want to give this any sort of validation and here we are this is my world now island boys i was with you on all of that about jake paul up until this weekend and now i'm like okay i fell for it 
Show me him fighting someone a little better than Woodley now. He's now, not gonna. That's the point. He's I'm, not going to do that. I'm here for it when they announce it. I'm ready. I am too. Look, if he puts himself against somebody that's like, well, first of all, never Woodley again, Mm-mm. but somebody else, I will. I've already paid for like three of these stupid fights. Like I'm not against paying for it. I just want it to be something that's actually going to be new and potentially like I need to think he may lose because I don't ever think he's going to lose now as far as it's, you know, it's just all rigged. It's all contractually done. But if he fights an actual fighter who doesn't is not desperate for cash, but also just wants to beat the crap out. And you can't tell me that there aren't boxers out there that want to beat the crap out of a Paul brother. There's that's that has to be a common thing. So do it. Save us all. Be a hero. All right, because enough is enough. I can't take this anymore. These stupid fights are killing me. My my IQ is dropping every week. Well, I can promise you that Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz don't give a crap about the contract. And either one of those dudes, if they do get in a ring with him, will absolutely they will die before they lose to that. Thank you. Oh, Nate Diaz. Like I like Nate Diaz, but he would scare the crap out of me if I was a Jake Paul. Like the yeah. idea of Nate Diaz just taking this fight and saying, yep, I'll do it. And guess what? Do it for a hundred bucks. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> I don't even care. Dream. I'll do it for some weed. Let's just Let's call it a day. That. Like, manifest that for 2022. Yeah. So if you light candles, whatever it is you do to make things happen in your life, please do that. Because we need this. Enough is enough. Anyways, I'm, Gabe, I'm, a, I'm shocked you let us start with not football. <laughs> By the way, it's very hypocritical. I, what, I let, F1. what do I have to do with it? I, you, because when you, we did F1, you whined about it for like 20 yeah. minutes. I and we think, just started with boxing. Ish. I just think that, you know, this concept, I don't know if I want to call it a sport, this concept of famous people punching each other in a ring for yeah. money is a little bit more close to the center of the heartbeat of a sports fan than... Yeah, that's fair. Uh, you know, guys well, driving on tracks in Abu Dhabi. Is yeah, but they're our... actually competing. This is just okay. all already... Just... By the way, we call them fighty, fighty cash grabs. That's what the <laughs> official... Oh my God, are we... That? Is that? Are we at war? No. What right. was... <laughs> I thought we had one of those cool like local radio soundboards and this I was some too. new like, effect that we use. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Uh, I was <laughs> gonna ask... Is is the Jake Paul thing? Is this our modern day uh, gladiators? They're in how, the ring. How fucking dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I'm joking. What? There's no way. It's the worst. As a Roman, okay. Oh, what that's you right. just said. So sorry. Is, I wish I could mute you for like the punishment, even though that's not really punishment, <laughs> is it? But still, that is no. Those people did it to the death. Now, if Jake Paul wants to do something to well, the death, yeah, I'm in. I'm back in. I'll pay you a hundred dollars. Okay, Let's go. Great. Okay. $100. $100. You're that Jake Beatles putting up a hundred bucks. Yeah, but, to see, well, to see rather if than sixty nine ninety nine, I'm gonna go ninety nine ninety nine. That's a that's a top pay per view dollar. <laughs> like, what do you want? For, I'm, I am so hung up on pay per view dollars right now.